Huh? Why you just do that? A street photographer. I just, just taking a quick snap of you guys. You guys look awesome. Nah, we don't want that on there. Okay. Nah, delete it. Hey, pictures of people, brother. Am I huh? deleting that picture? Show me what you just took. Oh, I see a picture you just took. Am I out of respect? I saw you take like take a quick picture of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's my... just that whole environment. Yeah, I'm it's part, not part of it. <laughs> we are here. We're in Venice Beach. As you can see, we do have the M8 out here. We've got some bikers out here. This is like the main mecca right here. Skate park over there. This right here is the main entrance way. This, this is not as populated as I would say it was back like 10 years ago. Uh, but I think people are trying to avoid the heat. It's only 72. It's only 72 out here right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get some street snaps. We get a full circular view here. There's a lot to, uh, to check out here. You know, you got the basketball courts, you got Muscle Beach, you got the skate park, you got the graffiti, you got the bike track, you got a direct route to Santa Monica. But we're gonna stay out of Santa Monica because we already went there uh, about mm, maybe like six or eight months ago. That was actually the very first street POV video I did was in Santa Monica. So if you didn't see that, check that out. If you haven't seen me already talk about the awesome M8 and the infrared capabilities that this camera has, video here or down below check it out without me feeling any more like a nerd out here with a gopro on a stick let's go out here throw it on my chest let's see what we can do for some street snaps If I 
was you, I'd probably be getting mad too. Yeah, I know now that there ain't no better dude. Yeah, that's just my attitude. Okay, okay, that's, that's, that's just my, I'm sorry, homie, I don't mean to be flawless. Yeah, I seen that in me, and yeah, I want to saw this. Yeah, and when you shoot your shot, it make you a target. Uh, you getting caught, they want to take all your pockets. Ooh, hey, it's a gift, I avoid all the nonsense. Yeah, don't be a hater. Yeah, you from this world, I'm from somewhere far beyond it Yeah, matter of fact, man, I don't even belong here Cause I, I, I got a different type of swagger, dude You ain't gon' find nobody like me on your avenues Better come get me while you can, I'm just passing through Ask me how I get this good, oh, you can blame it on my attitude Yeah, 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 okay, baby, that's just my attitude If I was you, I'd probably be getting mad at two. Oh, oh, I know now, baby, that ain't no bad at two. Yeah, that's just my attitude. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Why would you just do that? A street photographer. I'm just taking a quick snap of you guys. You guys look awesome. Nah, we don't want that on there. Okay. Nah, delete it. It's a, it's a film. Everybody's safe. Say. Soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Made no mistake, either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face, we put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change, pick up the pace. We put in infinite work, that's why we stay getting paid. Y'all running late, we moving on to the next. You still been stuck in the phase, there's no debate. We draw the line in the sand, we say it straight to your face. They on the rate, so we put the team on our back. We took the city to state, what it's gonna take? Another S on our chest, another beat in the grave. We I think uh, I didn't wear enough sunscreen on my arms. Definitely got that. You guys saw people are a little, a few people were <laughs> bummed out that I took their picture. You know, the funny thing is, is like there's signs everywhere. You know, there's surveillance cameras everywhere. There's signs that say they're everywhere. Uh, a thing just came out here in LA on the news that there's drones that fly over this area for crime and stuff. And they're worried about me taking some shitty picture of them. Starting to realize why street photographers use film. So that's why I got this case for my M8. So you see the front of it. First of all, everyone already thinks it's analog. And then they see there's no screen. No, sorry, man. There's actually uh, nothing I can do about that. I'm trying to fight the wind here. Both of those guys were definitely locals. You see, when I first moved to LA, I came straight to Venice and I was living out of my car here in Venice Beach and I got mugged. I got mugged here in Venice. So this place has always been a little sketch to me. Now granted that was like 10, 11 years ago, but Venice Beach has always been a little sketch to me since then. And so, you know, the locals now, they got my number, you know, I don't, I don't dress in all black, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I like my own personal style and I'm not going to change that just because now I'm a street photographer. I got to be, you know. Plus, with a GoPro on my chest, you're not discreet anyways. You're on a public space, and nobody owns the streets, right? Don't ever forget that. Nobody owns the streets. By the way, the phones in their pockets uh, should be of the utmost concern. Everyone is constantly being uh, under surveillance by the government, Facebook. Zuckerberg has more pictures of them than I ever will, right? So you guys don't forget that either. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
Got some cool snaps. No one can say shit to you. Plus it looks cool. You're on a skateboard with a Leica. Yeah, you need a super bright day to do infrared, especially with the M8. So I think I'll just do street snaps on the old skateboard here. Yeah, but I wanted to briefly talk to you guys. I've been thinking about, you know, people getting mad at me for taking their photos and stuff. And uh, it got me thinking about the two different types of uh, street photographers, right? There's the hunter or there's the fisherman. And you think about someone like Gary Winogrand, clearly a, a hunter. And even some of his most famous prolific street photographs, the composition is still a little skewed. And I know that sounds like blasphemy, but it just is. You know, if you compare it to something like Henri Cartier Bresson, the godfather of street photography. But when you look at someone like Henri, I have a theory that Henri, he's a fisherman. And I will go out on a limb here, complete street photography blasphemy right here, and I will say that Henri Cartier Bresson is a little bit of a producer, right? I have a theory that he would scout out the locations. Okay, hear me out on this. Before you destroy me in the comments, just hear me out on this. He would scout out the locations, perfect locations he would find, by the way. There's no doubt about it, Henri Cartier Bresson is an artist, a visual artist to the nth degree. But he would find these amazing locations and just sit and wait for that perfect subject, that perfect element, right? The infamous spiral staircase shot. He said, okay, now I found this awesome location. He got to the perfect vantage point. He got the composition all lined out and just waited for, the, for that bicyclist to come through, right? Boom. Perfect, right? Or even the, the puddle, the infamous man jumping over the circus puddle. Super old on one of his earliest photographs. Iconic, famous. I think he, he saw that even like how we operate today, like a Chicago street photographer, New York street photographer, and just sit and wait for someone to jump over that puddle. He just happened to be at a circus, right? In like, what, 1920s, 1930s, something crazy old like that. Just waited for that little guy to jump over the puddle. Right? Or even the infamous spot in Madrid, I think it was somewhere in Spain, I think it was Madrid, with all the, uh, the square windows. He found that perfect location, he f saw the kids playing, and just waited for that Humpty Dumpty man to come walking along, and just, just waited, sat there and waited. The perfect, I, the perfect example of a fisherman street photographer, right? I, I, think, I think that is, th th that is my theory on it. So in a way, he's kind of setting the stage a little bit, right? Because he's finding the location first. And when you do that, when you operate like that, you're never going to have anyone confront you. You actually will get apologized to because they feel like they, oh no, we ruined your shot by walking in it. So, oh, that's okay. They didn't realize that you were just waiting for them to enter the frame, right? So maybe, I guess I can try a little bit of that today. But I am not, I'm just not, I don't, I, I have too much inner energy, right? Like, and I think, I was thinking about this, and then we'll get on with it. But I was thinking about also, about how famous street photographers will say, you know, you can take your time. You can take your time with it. Oh my God, I wish I would have saw this sooner. Hold on. Tried to get it with the seagulls coming my way. I'll probably have to crop the shit out of that. They were too far away. Yeah, the M8 with little lowly 10 megapixels is not exactly a cropping camera, right? But it doesn't matter for Instagram or threads now for that matter. What the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, so famous street photographers will say, you know, take your time. And I used to think like that meant like, or, or they say slow down. I thought they meant like physical movement, slowing down your physical movement. And I think a lot of them do mean that, right? I think a lot of them mean that like, hey man, you know, walk slower. But also what I think they really mean is take your time composing the shot you know I'm so like oh my god there it is click and you just think like if you don't get it right that minute you're never gonna get it again that's not true you actually have way more time than what your inner anxiety your inner energy is telling you you have a lot of time to compose that shot before before the moment disappears right and I think we get caught up in the energy the excitement of the moment thinking like oh my god we got to get it now it doesn't matter you know I'm gonna try a little bit of that I'm gonna try a little bit of you know, <laughs> more um, slowed down composing process, right? You don't have to be so quick to grab it. And maybe I'll try a little bit of finding the location. I did a little bit of that yesterday, but it wasn't like good, I don't think. Um, <laughs> but uh, so anyways, yeah, fisherman, hunterman. All right, that's all I wanna talk about. We got, I'm so bummed out. Yesterday was so bright, I got so burnt yesterday. I got burned so bad yesterday, I almost said I'm not gonna come out today. But then, I, but then I get out here and you're like, oh my God, it's so packed. 
Took me a half hour to find parking. So packed, but it's Saturday, right? Yesterday was a Friday, but also like, it's just so cloudy. I can't do infrared today. No, just get a bunch of skate, skate street snaps. Definitely get around a lot quicker that way. All right, let's go. Losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly I had to go demonstrate I had to set them straight They hate when you elevate Film. Film, digital. Right? Oh, it's digital. Yeah. Oh, it's From like early 2000s. Oh, damn. <laughs> Super old. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. Okay. All right, brother.
is the end. The sun is going down. It's going to get too dark out here for the Leica. Definitely did not get bright enough today to do the uh, infrared on the 40 mil Sumicron. I tried to camp out at the Venice sign for as long as I could just to get something interesting and the damn shutter, it just wouldn't, it jammed up on me. Even when I woke it back up, it's still jammed. So I did lose a really nice shot of a of a guy on a skateboard pushing hard, like down low, big push. That would have been the shot, man, with the Venice sign behind his head, and I missed it. That's one of the things that you would not miss out on if you had, if I would have been using the RX-1, right? But yeah, the sun is going down, as you can see. It is the end. It's supposed to be golden hour, but there's just much too haze here today. You're not gonna get any golden hour light in here right now. So we'll see what I did. I took over 100 snaps. I don't know. And then on the board, you know, being on the board, it, because I've been skateboarding half of my life, you know, I'm super comfortable on it. It is still a little sketch, because you're like, oh, you could hit a crack. Someone could push you, and, and you know, you could go down. So that is in the back of your brain all the time to kind of hold the Leica close. That would be a big bummer, <laughs> you know? But I will say it kind of gives me an extra dose of confidence. Uh, for one, it makes people think I'm a local, you know, because you're on a board. Uh, but also, you know, they're not going to chase after you. It's harder uh, to come after you if they wanted to start some shit with you. So the idea is, is to hit all the major cities in L.A. and then start taking it on the road. I think I stayed at the skate park too long today um, versus yesterday. Um, and I didn't get nearly as awesome a shots today as I did yesterday. But that's, you know, just how it goes. All right, sun's down. I gotta hit the road. It's gonna take definitely over an hour to get home on a Saturday. When I'm on my skateboard, I'm like, I'm like in my element, you know, I, I really am. And so because of that, I don't know, I had so much fun out there taking photos on my skateboard. I've always had the idea of doing that, but I was like too nervous that I would fall or something. And the only reason I brought my board today is because I was like, dude, I knew it was gonna be busy because it's a Saturday. So I was like, man, I might end up parking really far away. And I'm glad I did too, because I ended up parking in Santa Monica. 